Okay, we've heard about the touch keys. Let's look into them and find out a little bit about what exactly they are for. The uh, touch memory keys allow you to transfer information back and forth between the lock and the computer without a direct serial port connection. The general transfer capabilities are as follows. All programming settings and functions can be transferred from the computer to the lock via touch memory. In case of multiple locks, you can use the programming stored in one touch memory key to transfer programming to all of the locks. Most programming can be, can, can be transferred from the lock to the computer. The exceptions to this rule are pin numbers, the time of the day, and the encryption key. That information does not ever get transferred. No pin numbers whatsoever may be transferred. The audit trail can be transferred from the lock to the computer, but you cannot reverse that and write an audit trail from a computer back to a lock. In other words, if you're going to do something on the keypad, you cannot cover your tracks. Programming and audit trails from only one lock at a time can be transferred to the touch memory key. So, for example, if I have a touch memory key that I have an audit loaded onto already, and I take it and I go through the function of downloading another audit to it, that first audit will now be entirely gone. All of that information will be wiped out. So, each green key holds the information for one safe at a time. Downloading information from a second lock entirely erases the existing data in the key. Okay, now there are four different types of colors available and there are four different functions that these touch memory keys actually do. The yellow key is the user key. This is very similar to how a guard key is used in a lot of double key lock situations. Uh, it simply means that it's a key that would be required along with a pin number entry. The red key is a program key. What this does is it allows you to transfer programming from the computer to the input panel, meaning the keypad or retrieve existing settings from the input panel. So in other words, if I had a red key that I had stored information from the computer on, I could take that and write that programming to the lock by going through the proper sequence of numbers, putting this on there, and then it downloads the information from this touch key to the keypad. The blue key is called the program with time key. What this means is it stores program changes just like the red key does and can transfer them to multiple locks, but it also transfers new time and date settings. So in other words, if you have one of those with you, you can use it to set the clock and the calendar for each of those keypads as well as overwriting the program. It does exactly what the red key does, but it also transfers date and time settings. The green key is the audit retrieval key. This one and the yellow one are probably the ones that are going to come up most in the field uh, with end users. Folks from groups such as a loss prevention department would probably be more familiar with the red, blue, and green keys uh, used for programming, uh, programming with time and date transfers, or audit retrieval. The green key is specifically for audit removal. Uh, this can retrieve the audit trail from the lock for uploading to the computer. This can only be used to transfer audit trail data from a keypad to a PC. The key cannot transfer any audit trail data from the computer to the keypad. Um, that would allow people to do things such as writing over the audit trail in the keypad, which really defeats the purpose of it keeping track of all events anyhow. Um, there is no way to defeat the audit trail in the keypad.